Okay, so what you're hearing is drums, and no, they're not coming from the NPC. They're coming from Logic uh, Pro. As a matter of fact, all the sounds that you're hearing came from Logic Pro. And this all stemmed from uh, sort of my attempts of trying to get the NPC workflow, um, putting it inside uh, Logic uh, Pro, like you saw in my last video, kind of like the Coke and the lime, lime and the Coke. And as you saw in the last video, it just kind of became, uh, the process was very awkward. As a matter of fact, it made it so that everything that I liked about the NPC I couldn't use, about the workflow, and it made logic even more complex to even operate. So I knew that wasn't going to be the solution. And if you go on YouTube, there's a lot of videos on how to route uh, the NPC software in the logic um, through the IEC driver and, and whatnot. And I found that to not be so successful in doing that. Uh, maybe another time I'll try to I'll rework that. Um, because there's something in the IEC driver or possibly in the NPC or logic software that uh, seems to create a continuous loop and cause havoc. But in this particular situation, all you need is basically one MIDI cable and you're off to the races. So what I did is I took, uh, there's a couple steps you have to take, they're not hard. I took the MIDI uh, cable and went from the MIDI in from the back of my interface, which is a Sapphire Pro 40, plugged into the back of the MIDI out port A. It can be A, B, C, or D. It doesn't matter, you just have to specify it in here of what you're doing, of which port. And that's pretty much all to it. As far as logic, the only thing that you have to set up is under settings and recording. You just have to make sure that this box is checked, which is auto demix by channel. Okay, so that's going to give you up to 16 channels or tracks of MIDI that you can run, that you can route through that one DIN cable in, into the MPC. So in this case, um, I've got um, the port set here, and then whatever channel I have, it's all coming from Logic. So, and that's running into here. And the only thing I have to do is that I can record in here is just export my MIDI onto the onto the memory card and throw it in the logic. That's the only other extra step I have to do if I want to continue a session that may have been started with the MPC and went into logic after. Um, so pretty much I get the benefits. It's it's a double benefit because I get the benefit from utilizing the sounds that I that I like and being able to share the platform of that sound. So I don't have to um, change the sound when I will convert it back to logic, which is a great time saver. And when you run a session like this in the multi, the beauty behind it is once you have it set up, you just have to save it because all the sounds that you used in here is going to be the same configuration that you would use a logic. So you have to set up your multi palette only one time. Um, there's one other thing I want to say. Um, the ultimate would be using the MPC software and of course using the MPC X as a controller. So if I were to get another computer, I would basically run everything the same exact way, but this would be hooked up to another computer and I'd be running um, the plugin and using this in controller mode. Um, but other than that, I probably wouldn't change a whole lot uh, on that. And so uh, what I would do is um, have the capability if you... Uh, take logic out of the multi mode which I showed you now so now I can go to every track to the point where uh, without even doing anything other than taking out of multi mode now I'm in Logic. And now I'm, you know, I'm in the mix. Back to the mix, I can record. Right? 
so I kind of get the best of both worlds. I can simultaneously play um, in um, both. So, for example, I just hit, hit here, last track, and I hit shift record, I believe, and they're all in multi-mode. Now I'm back to here. So if I go to this track, I'm playing the NPC now. allows me to go from this system to that system with very little effort so hopefully um and like i said the mpc it doesn't have to be an mpc this is the instrument that i that i chose to use it can be a w um like a chronos whatever you want it to be but the same principle stands so hopefully you get something out of this video and um please don't forget to to click subscribe and tap the bell and all that because it really kind of motivates the channel and all that for making more future content. Uh, and until next time, peace out.